All right, you guys. This is gonna be a long drive, kind of an unexpected one, but I decided I'm gonna film it because uh, we, well, we don't necessarily have to do this, but we are going to. <clears throat> it's March 15, 2021. Uh, we just went through the village. Uh, this is where the, the video's beginning. This is where like that new roller coaster is and the bobsledding and sleds and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, uh, basically we have to go to Lake Arrowhead right now. And I thought, you know what? This would be great for you guys to be able to see what it looks like to drive all the way from basically where the snow is starting um, down there uh, along some kind of scary route a little bit. So I think that'll be fun. And these guys are in the middle of the street. What are they doing, dude? I should blast my train horn. Uh, I don't want to scare them, though. They were taking a selfie. Oh, I should have blasted them. Oh, my God. I should have. I should have. I should have. That would have been funny. Oh, man, I've become less of a, a D word over the years. I wasn't really a D word, but like, I'm just like, like less and less wanting to like do stuff like that. It's really weird, but I felt like it right there. Um, but yeah, anyway, you guys, that's what we're doing. We're going to Lake Arrowhead because I have a couple bills that need to go through tonight. And, uh, the ATM machine that I use, it's the school's first federal credit union co-op machine. So it's got a depository and all that stuff. And I need the depository um, because I don't have any checks where I could just do, you know, uh, the online transfer deal. But so I have to put cash in there. And the machine's been broken since Saturday. And I've gone back a couple times per day and it, it hasn't been fixed. I called schools first and reported it. And uh, they said they would get right on it and I have no I didn't have any reason to not think they wouldn't because they always do but I know they're gonna say it's because, <clears throat> it's because of the weather but I mean for something like that where because there aren't many branches of any banks up here at all um, it's, 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 it's very slim pickings look at that moon by the way Trey. Uh, because of that and uh, yeah it's it's just a lot of us bank at our our, our ATM um, because as I said, there aren't many branches of the banks that we actually bank out of here. So it, that's why it's, uh, it's paramount for them to have that thing working all, all, all the time. They usually have, have like a couple hour max turnaround time on it from when they, 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 they be, you know, from when it's, it's reported that there's an issue to when it's fixed. So, but that's why we're going all the way down here. But this is so pretty guys. I'm so I'm really excited about this to tell you the truth. And if I feel good enough, maybe I'll just hold this darn thing up, this phone up this whole time and we'll just go all the way down the mountain and back up Highway 38. We'll see how I'm feeling. Do you guys know how long it's gonna take to upload that video though? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be crazy. Oh I just rolled down the window. Uh, did you guys hear that? That didn't sound good. 20 degrees. It's 20 degrees right now. That is cold. That is cold. I know some people watching from like Minnesota or uh, um, my friend uh, Matthew from, is it Pocatello? Dude, this Matthew Jolch, right? Dude, is so cool. Oh, wait, you know what? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on. Sorry about that, you guys. But yeah, hey, you know what? There's somebody who I want to shout out. Alex Deary. What's up, bro? How you doing, man? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. You're a, you're a really, you seem like a really cool young man. And uh, I just want you to continue being the person you are. Um, always, always tell your parents how much you love them all the time. Every day, as much as you can. Um, and just try to be grateful for everything you have, man. It's best advice I can give you. And treat everybody how you want to be treated, you know? And uh, love yourself, respect yourself. I respect you. You are very. You seem like a very respectable young man. So keep up the good work, dude. I'm really, 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 really proud that you're part of this channel, this community here. It's really great. So, um, yeah, I'm very honored. And, uh, yeah, guys, Alex Deary. Cool dude. He's part of our channel. Cool young man. And, uh... He asked me for a shout out, if I remember. And you know what? Ah, I remembered. Very, 
and it's not like I intentionally forget you guys. Trust me, like, like I get so excited to do that stuff for you guys. It's really, it's really exciting for me because it makes it makes some of you feel really, really good. And if it makes you feel good, it makes me feel freaking awesome. So there we go. It's a win, win, win. Win, win, win. So yeah, we are we are doing this treacherous drive without any tire chains. Uh, the only thing that could stop us from doing this, and I'll be very very irked, is if uh, they have chain control. But I didn't see any signs for chain control. Usually we have the signs on uh, Big Bear Boulevard lit up saying uh, chains required and blah 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 and blah 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 blah. blah, blah. A few more blah blah blahs and blah blah. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. I'm gonna have to flash him real quick. Well, not like that. Not like that, you guys. Flash my freaking my hazards. That's what you do up here, guys. When uh, someone lets you pass, you show them how grateful you are by flashing them. <laughs> flashing your uh, yeah your hazards. I really hope. No one like shut it off right before I said hazards. <laughs> All of a sudden in the news, we'd be like, yeah, there's a bunch of perverts up here flashing people. <laughs> uh, uh. All right, guys, I need to slow it up. I need to slow it down. Slow it up, slow it down. Slow it medium. Earth. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's not, it's not that gnarly, you guys, but um, if I was a beginner doing this up here, this would be a bit, a bit scary because I'm trying to put myself in a newcomer's shoes. And you got to get your newcomer chip and hopefully that doesn't consist of uh, hitting a freaking rail or a snow berm. Your newcomer chip you'll get once you get through and you're leaving town. You know what, that would be pretty cool to like have some like sort of cool trophy or award, just like something dumb that, but like that's like unique to this town where for the people that are scared but that actually made it up here safely and stuff like um, and and make it back like the next time you, 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 you come up here since you overcame your fear safely we'll like cook you up with a room and I don't know, <laughs> just like something cool. Because overcoming fears and being able to overcome a fear like that, believe it or not, guys, a lot of people are terrified to drive up these roads. And I was one of them um, before I, I lived here. And uh, overcoming these these kind of fears are just another just beautiful aspect of life opening up. Just pure beauty. Because you make it up here and then you get to see so much, so much of this stuff. It's amazing how when we're conquering our fears, just... It's just, just all the, all the things that we have ever, ever wanted emotionally happen. And you know what? It doesn't look like chain control. I think we're good. Uh oh. Oops. Oh, yep, oh, yep. Oh. oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Wait. Hit the lights, 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 lights. I hope there's no chain control. It, it doesn't look like it. Huh? They're usually right here, and then down by Snow Valley. But we need to be very careful through here, guys. This is. So it's 20 right here. Uh, I bet the temperature is going to rise a little bit in the little Arctic Circle right now. Not as much as it usually would, because the little Arctic, like 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 a lot of times, let's say it's 30 right there at the Big Bear Dam. Once we start driving through here, just just about a mile, just about a mile or two in, it it, it can get up 10 degrees warmer because there's a huge cliff to our left. So all that warm air is rising right along this cliff side right here. So we're getting hit with the warm air rising right there. It's pretty incredible actually. But yeah. So far so good ladies and gentlemen. bit scary but we're we're I think we're handling it pretty well if you guys can see my face my face is in like its own fetal position it's terrified right now I don't think you want to see it all right I'll 
I'll show you. It's very scary. <laughs> you don't want to drive like that, guys. It's terrifying. I'm frozen scared. Scared frozen. Drifty here, that's that's okay. As long as we stay towards the middle. So we have time to compensate for what we've done. What have you done? Look at what you've done. Oh, like this. <laughs> oh, we saved ourselves, sir. Oh, you saved yourself, sir. You would have gone right over the edge if you would have kept the gas on. Well duh. <laughs> what are you some sort of a schmuck? Hey! Watch your mouth. <sighs> Seriously, if some like doctors are watching or, or something, they might want to do an intervention on me or something. Like, dude, this guy is, this, he's a weirdo. This guy is weird. Oh, look at this guy, huh? What's this guy doing? Oh, we're gonna have to, I'll turn off my brights, be nice. And then I'll turn them right back on. Whoop, 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 whoop. Um, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So yeah, guys, we are in a little area called the Little Arctic Circle. And if you can see during the daytime on the left-hand side, it is, it's not a sheer cliff, but it's pretty darn sheer. That's, uh, you're not gonna survive that one. Let's just put it that way. Unless you get lucky and get caught up in one of the trees when you barely first start going over. Not a fun little spot. Oh, big rock. Not a fun little spot to be. Thank goodness I am a lifted Subaru. A rock like that uh, really hurt my Saturn a while back. It ripped through. Oh, no. Look at me grip. The transmission fluid pan. And uh, it was on Highway 38, and I was essentially ooh grade. I could not. I it just, it all leaked out, and when I hit the gas, nothing would happen. And, uh, yeah, it was not good. That was back when I was literally still just about destitute. I had nothing. And look at me, guys. Look at me just, like, trying to tell you guys stats that are that are pretty much on most of the time with me. But, look, it says 19 now. Usually, it's, it's a lot warmer by now. So, what I'm assuming why that happened is because we just, these clouds just left, like, five minutes ago. No joke. They just passed through. So, all that warm air that was being held in underneath the, the layer of clouds, uh, that is what we, uh, like, uh, the warm air is gone. Like, it's, it's, uh, because th these clouds were, oh, it's getting cloudy again. But that's what I think happened, honestly. Why it's all, it's, it went lower. Because all the heat was packed in uh, under the clouds. And as I said, it was a quick disbursement of the clouds. And therefore, all that heat rose quickly. And what was left behind was just cold air. Just cold air. And there's Snow Valley. You see all the lights out there, guys? That's Snow Valley Ski Resort way out there on top of the hill. Another hill. Oh, gosh. This is scary right here. Thank goodness it's such a big, wide area. I mean, guys, you guys notice how I'm driving, like, super cautious. So if you notice me driving like this, then then please understand this is... This is uh, Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing. No, this is just a little a little hairy, but you guys can certainly drive slower than I'm even driving, than I'm driving right now, and you'd be, you'd be fine. As I always say, just a reminder, because I don't want you guys to, if you're anything like me, if you feel like you're holding someone up, it's like you'll like, like speed up and do things that you usually wouldn't do because you don't want to offend the person by like holding them up. And so, uh, I'm like that too. I'm a people pleaser in a big, big way. So I'll end up like, uh, like uh, speeding up, and that can that can be super dangerous, guys. So what I want you to do is just please constantly remind yourself because it's going to happen. There are going to be folks who are going to come up right on your butt on these mountain roads, and uh, the next turnout that you can possibly turn out on that's safe. Don't slam on your brakes and stuff, but make sure you're you maintain that slow speed because when you like don't let the guy who's on your butt freak you out and then you speed up and then you see a turnout and you're like oh shoot i'm gonna take that turnout and then you hit you it's 
it, it can be tragedy. So just please be prepared. Um, don't be in any hurry. Don't be in any hurry. Try to like think of things about the drive that are that like you could look at as fun, and just try to focus on that while you're while you're driving up, going super slow. Enjoy the scenery. Obviously, if you're the driver, enjoy the road, <laughs> the road scenery. Um, but yeah, like this, I think you guys would be totally fine. I mean, I know you'll be totally fine. Just don't drive like a like a joik. Joik. friend James helped us out with uh, like uh, he's getting some some extra bright spots on on his screen with uh, whatever camera settings I'm, I'm I'm using so now that I'm more aware of it I'm gonna try to do a little bit better or not try I'm going to do, or I'm gonna, yeah I'm gonna do the best I can with it um, but apparently like the setting that I have it on is the setting necessary to uh, to actually produce your videos in as close of quality to what you recorded in it. And this is mainly why I bought this phone was for the highest efficiency part of the camera. So um, I'm not going to change that setting. So for, forgive me about that. Um, so I want it to be as, as beautiful. But there's got to be a way for me to get some of that brightness or, or a glare out. And I really, really want to do that. Especially when guys like uh, James asked for it and stuff because he's been here a long, long time and, and I have a lot of respect for the dude. He's, he, he's always been helpful. All of you have always been helpful. But it's, it's just, it, gosh, it feels so good just to, like, just to accommodate simple things for you guys. And uh, you may not think it's simple. Just like the things you guys do for me, lots of times you're like, ah, oh, no big deal. It's a huge deal. It's a huge deal, guys. It means the world to me. A million times over. Oh, look at the snow block. The snow block. That was interesting. I called it the snow block. All right, here we go, guys. Uh, now we can kind of... Wow, look at it. It's all socked in over there. That's, uh, yeah, that's over towards Big Bear Lake. You can't see it because there's clouds in that big gully. Or not gully. You don't want to go sledding there, guys, because um, you'll it'll take you like an hour to get down. And that's what... I'm just kidding. It'll take you a long time to get down because it's like 5,000 feet right there. But down to the bottom part, maybe 4,000 feet to the bottom of uh, where that, that cliff ends up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's where all, a lot of clouds are right now in that general area, just down below us, right down there, which is pretty cool. Uh, oh man, this would be so beautiful tomorrow morning, you guys. Ooh, it really would be. But I'm really so, so excited and grateful that I get to do this video for you guys. Because, uh, yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt. But I'd rather take the hits and crash and do whatever, you know, could possibly happen. Uh, to keep you guys safe, give you guys that visual perspective. To make you decide whether, you know, this is uh, sane in your book of, of sanity for me yeah this is totally sane no problem some people this is like uh like fear or just 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 frozen solid due to fear and one of my aunts was is like that as a matter of fact mountain roads she can't handle them driving fast she can't handle it um yeah so Thank goodness for some of these videos because you guys can see with your own eyes. And that's just, that's so cool. That is so cool. Oh no. Okay, so you see all the light out there? That's Big Bear. Wow, that is so cool. Dang, that is cool, guys. That's across the whole valley. I think the little Arctic Circle is like a nine, like an eight or nine mile drive from the Big Bear Dam to right here, to where we're at, right, this, right at this point. So I'm a. Uh, yeah, but yeah, Alex Deary, dude. I just want to say hi again. Super cool. He said it would. It's like one of his like wishes to like have me uh, shout him out. And he, you know what? Like, like 
for me. Like, dude, that's, that, that's so beautiful of you, bro. You're a very special young man. Your parents should be very, very proud of you. They definitely raised, raised, raised a very good young man. So thank you again, Alex. And uh, I wish you nothing but the best, dude. Once again, nothing but the best. And I need to slow down right here. I'm going to put it in a lower gear. Because we're going to get a little crazy up here. Not intentionally. So all the light in the sky straight ahead that you see when we make this little left, that's Snow Valley Ski Resort. You'll start seeing some of the lights a little better. Yeah, that's the ski resort right there, guys. That is technically in a town called Running Springs. Running Springs. You know what? That makes me want to watch uh, Cool Runnings. It's one of my favorite movies. I could watch that a million times over. Just love it. Well, I have watched it a million times over. I could watch it a million more times. Sanka. You did? <laughs> Feel the rhythm. Feel the rhyme. It's bobsled time. Oh, man. Movies used to be done really, really, really cool like that. Just, I don't know. That was one of John Candy's last, wasn't it? That's unfortunate. That guy was a terrific actor. Just poor... It's horrible that he just he couldn't get his weight under control and it, it ended up taking it. It's, it's terrifying, you guys. But yeah, so it's still 19 degrees. Uh, and typically when we drive by Snow Valley, the ski resort up here, it plummets like another five, ten, or five to seven degrees in the three or two and a half, three mile stretch from at the bottom right here past Snow Valley Ski Resort until we get to uh uh, basically, uh, where Highway 18 kind of starts to turn and go down down the mountain again. So there's a long stretch right here, about two and a half, three miles, where the temperature usually drops. So we'll see if that happens tonight. I'll let you know when that that area basically starts. It's, it's kind of in a bowl here, so you, you get really cold down here. And a lot of times, you guys, this ski resort will get a lot more snow than we get. It's not always, but uh, sometimes they'll get like three and a half feet and then we'll only have like two feet. It's amazing. But sometimes it's the other way around. straightaway we're uh and then yeah we're entering the bowl and typically uh the, the, the cold air sinks and we just get really cold right here so we're gonna look at the ski resort and if the temperature drops i'll show you but yeah that's snow valley ski resort that looks really pretty temperature has remained the same Oh, that's pretty guys. That is pretty, pretty, pretty. I can put it back in drive now. There we go. But I do need to slow down. I'll tell you that. Going 40. Soy manejando 40 millas para hora. Cada hora. Oh no. See? Uh, you don't say. <laughs> I try though. I try my best never to stop loving you and so good. All my life since we're here at home. So yeah, we're gonna be literally driving into the Lake Arrowhead Village right now. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, we're not. Oh, look, the temperature rose. I cannot believe it. So once again, that's that's exactly what's happening is 
that all, most of the cloud cover, uh, there was quite a little break there where, where, where there was nothing and all that hot air or warm air escaped. And so that's why right here, instead of it cooling, it actually warmed up a little bit. That's, kind of, that's crazy, that's cool. It's really cool. I love, I love stuff like that. Gives me a little something to chew on. But yeah, guys, so anyway, we are, uh, that's a sledding place, a sledding joint right there. That whole side of the hill right there is just all sledding, guys. Look at how much snow they got over here. Look at the side of the road. I told you this part of this part of the mountain range, because uh, they're less impeded by other mountains in, in front of it. Like these mountains right here are in front of Big Bear, so the storms hit here first, and then when they hit the mountain, it causes lift, and then that ends up basic. It's basically like when these storms hit the mountain, it's like a it, it's like a dry sponge being thrown into the air really fast and then it, it just becomes completely soaked, completely condensed and it just, yeah, it, you just get so much more moisture to just get squeezed out right there as as it's lifting. It's uh, it's pretty cool how, uh, uh, what's what's the word? Uh, uh, gosh, man, uh, something lift, oh man, I can't remember. But uh, so what ends up happening though is that a lot of the storms hit or most of them will hit here first, obviously, because it's in front of us, and it, and this takes away a lot of the, you know, a lot of the strength from the storm. Unfortunately, um, not for right here because they're getting all the lift and the condensation, or the the lift and all all the clouds condensing in, into water droplets, and there you go. But any like a mile past that that spot or like a quarter mile past that spot significantly less snow and a lot of the storms already been decimated by that part of the mountain range so it's unfortunate if big bear was like where crest line is <laughs> or lake arrowhead even but at the same elevation the amount of snow would be would be huge we would probably get almost well i don't know about twice as much but maybe 30 35% more snow every year average if Big Bear was situated in the same location as Lake Arrowhead. Lake Arrowhead is, I think, 3,000 feet lower in elevation than we are. And they still get some pretty good snowfall events. That's where my mom had a house when I was in my, uh, like, uh, like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And uh, we would go up there for snowstorms and then go skiing. Not my mom, like she'd be there, but it would, it would be like my siblings, their friends, me, my friends to go skiing. But we'd get some really good storms in Lake Arrowhead. It was pretty awesome. It really was. Some big ones. And funny enough, I still remember sometimes when we would leave our, our house in Lake Arrowhead. Well, it would take us like two hours to get here to, to Big Bear. But when we would get up to Big Bear, it would seem like there was less snow sometimes. It was like, what the heck is going on here? Because technically, you know, if you're just using basic knowledge, you know, the higher elevation, you're gonna get more snow. But when you have these uh, these little roadblocks, you know, as in mountain ranges and peaks in front of our, our area, that's gonna eat up a bunch of the storm. And then literally on the other side of our mountain range, it's it's as dry as dry can be. We have some intense desert out there. So Big Bear is sitting in, in, in a very unique spot, but to where it's just, you know, once in a while we'll get a storm that completely develops into something that's just, you know, like five, six, seven feet, which is what I'm dying for, man. I, I would love something like that. But I'm grateful with anything and I'm grateful for this. I know I talk a lot, but I'm especially talking a lot more on this one because it's uh, it's allowing me to not think so much about how how kind of rough this is right now because this is a little bit on the rough side, guys. Oops, especially when I turn off the lights, that's pretty rough. <laughs> um, I'm not skidding out and stuff, you guys. It's just, um, yeah, 
just please stay, just be focused. Be completely focused on the road. Um, never ever forget how much you guys mean to me. I, ho I hope that matters to you. Um, because I don't want to see anything happen to you guys. I don't want any of you to get hurt. I just want you to get up here and have fun. Get here in one piece. And enjoy the heck out of this place. This is your freaking, this is your spot, guys. Come up here and have fun, man. I am so tired. Holy tired, Batman. And I'm so hungry. I can eat the holes. Twenty-one degrees. I'll bet we're gonna be about 20, 28 degrees in Lake Arrowhead. It's Twenty-one here. Let's see. Look at some of these snowbirds on the side. Not too bad over here. They 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 got a little more, I think, than we did. Maybe not. Like, uh, eh, maybe that was deceiving. What I just saw. All right, Nick, come on. Careful driving. So this is going to be a video in both directions, you guys. Okay, and the reason for that is it's completely different perspectives, and there's a lot of you leaving town tomorrow. And this is going to be probably like this through most of the morning, and then it's going to be it's going to be a lot better. But yeah, this gives you two different perspectives. For those of you who are leaving town, you can see what it's going to be like. And hopefully it helps. And those of you coming, you can see it with your own eyes and, and make that judgment call. No chain controls anywhere, guys. This is pretty cool. I mean, they might have them halfway down on Highway 330. But I haven't seen any signs for anything. Have you guys noticed any chain signs? I haven't seen any chain signs. Well, the lit up signs. The ones that are like metal and steel that we have on the side of the roads and stuff like that. Those ones are like always out. But uh, always saying chains required. <laughs> but we want the official one. We're not going to be going that that far down the hill anyway. I said there's a possibility, but we're probably not going to have to do that because I had the manager at this Stater Brothers up here call the manager down there. This manager is a good friend of mine. He's he's, he's such a super cool dude, um, and he called them to ask them if uh, if they notice if the red light on the ATM machine next to the depository is on or any red light for that matter. And they said, no, it's all good. My luck, someone will come in there right now, right before I get there and uh, jam the dang thing up, but that's okay. That'll give us an excuse to drive down. For those of you who don't know what that sound is, those are tire chains. Well, we passed that car right there. That's tire chains. That's it. And when you put them on, you guys, please do not get lazy at all. Not because I'm, I'm, I'm like worried about the crashing and stuff. I'm, and you're going to be fine. Uh, but if they're not on properly and they unhook at all, like parts of it will, every time your wheel, you know, makes a revolution it's gonna smash your freaking bumper <laughs> or your like co your quarter panel or whatever so keep in mind these are things that happen and uh can be a very big bummer on a trip too so do not do not sell yourself short when you put them on please i know it's cold and it's miserable when because look guys the, when do people put on tire chains when it's snowy icy and when they're required to right so think about it every time someone's putting on tire chains for the most part it's never it's it's, it's not going to be in good conditions because you're not going to put them on like hours away you're just not 
Oh, 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 oh. You guys see that? We slipped a little bit right there. I can't believe it. But yeah, so uh, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Here's a high school right here. We are in uh, Running Springs, you guys. As you're well aware of. Well aware of. I see. Oh, I see. And we're almost to uh, the little junction where it, it uh, we have the option to turn left or stay to the left, I should say, and we'll go down Highway 330, or stay to the right and we'll go up Highway 18. We're get more, we'll continue on Highway 18. That's what we're on right now, and that's what we're gonna do because we got to go to Lake Arrowhead, and parts of that. Highway 18 are pretty rough, guys. Pretty scary because you're 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 at some points at the summit of that part of that mountain, and uh, the winds are just unbelievable. Sometimes you get like 100 mile an hour winds. Sometimes it's crazy. Guys, look at how slow we've been going this whole time. But see, we made it here safely. Now we have another halfway to go. About. It appears they got some good snow, huh? Look at this. Compared to us, man. Jeez Louise. They got ham skied, huh? They got the hammer. They were the hammer, man. Alright. So, we gotta make a right here. So uh, uh, usually we're turning, or we're just staying straight to the left to go down Highway 330 to get back down. But we're gonna go up here to Lake Arrowhead. <laughs> well, we're going up here, but then it, it over time takes us down a few thousand feet till we get to where we need to go. To where we need to go. Five degrees. I actually hope we get above freezing when we get to Lake Arrowhead just so we don't have to really be doing uh, super slow driving the whole time because I am exhausted. This is probably not 100% safe for me to be driving right now. I wouldn't do anything to put someone else in jeopardy, you guys. I promise you. I love you all too much and I know you all have moms and dads and kids and stuff and brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles I don't want to put anybody ever in any jeopardy and I want you guys to understand that that's absolutely the truth but I am pretty darn tired jeez they did get a lot of snow over here and this is running springs you guys they got a lot more than we got. See, I, I told you guys that they probably have one. Oh my God, they got like nine inches over here. Look at the roofs. Damn, they got way more than we did. We only got like an inch. That's unbelievable. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. But I'm happy for you guys down here, man. I'm really happy for you guys that you guys got blown out compared to us. This is awesome. That is so cool for you guys down here. If you guys are, are going to be driving on this part of the mountain road, the way that you get to this part um, and how you can just stay on one road if you want, I don't really suggest it. It's because it's a little bit longer and a little bit more on the hairier parts of the road, the scarier parts. Um, but take Highway 18 from uh, San Bernardino, and it's also known as Waterman Avenue. So when you're on the 10 freeway and you see Waterman Avenue 
right when you get on the 10 freeway from the two, from the, I think it's the 215. Yeah, from the 215. I, yeah, the 215. Um, it's like the first or second exit is Waterman Avenue and just turn left towards the mountain range and it just turns into Highway 18. It's pretty darn cool. And we're heading back towards San Bernardino on Highway 18 right now. Obviously, we gotta get through the rest of the mountain range. And this takes us on the top. This is called Rim of the World Highway. I believe it's Rim of the World, yeah. Guys, they got blasted over here. Unbelievable, I, look at all the snow. What is going on, man? This is not fair. I mean, they got a lot. Man, there is a lot of here. So this is the area where I was thinking we would see a lot more snow because right when we make this right, it's just, that's just open. And it's just, the, the storms have nothing that block them right here. And, oh man, look at all that snow. Holy moly. Guys, for real, this is awesome. fun cliffs to drive off. Yes, very disappointing. As I said, I'm happy for you guys down here. Oh, look at that. That's down the mountain. Wow, guys. We just got a little break in the clouds right there. How cool was that? I hope, we're, I, I hope we keep on getting breaks like that in the clouds so you guys can see down. Because that's a view from about 6,000, or yeah, about 5,500, no, about 6,000 feet up, just about. Maybe 5,500. Look at this guy, man. This guy's charging. Oh man, look at down the mountain, you guys. That is unbelievably beautiful. And you can see where that break in the clouds are. We're above that break, looking down below the clouds. Uh, those clouds, the bottom of them is lower. Like the ceiling for the folks down the hill is below what I was just looking at. It's so cool. Oh my gosh. I hope we can uh, get some more of those views. Oh, uh, we're gonna start entering some serious fog. Oh no. Oh gosh, no. Oh, this is not what I like. I don't like it. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, come on, Pa. So the reason I'm uh, not turning off my brights is, uh, yeah, even though it's harder to see, um, I think for the video, it looks nicer, looks prettier. And you can see more of the snow on the sides of the roads. But yeah, it's uh, when there's fog, of course, it's not the smart, smart thing to do, but I'm not driving fast. I'm just trying to catch uh, some cool, cool, cool footage. Oh, oops, slow down. Yeah, this is cool. p.m. 24 degrees we are technically still in running Springs California I believe the elevation is six six thousand feet in the town proper oh look at that cloud look look we're just passing that cloud right there oh my gosh that is so cool you guys oh my god I don't know why it's so exciting but it is it woke me up a bit and I'm gonna stick my hand out the window and record out there for a second, okay?
looks like a freaking lollipop now. Frozen lollipop. I guess that's not a lollipop. It'd be a, like a frozen pop. <laughs> like a farcicle. My hand feels like a farcicle. But I bet it don't taste like one. Why not? Right, I really want to get some more views, but there's some clouds blocking us right here. Otherwise, we'd be seeing beautiful lights down there. We just passed a cup, CHP cup, a cup. All right, I think we can. So you can barely see it down there. Yeah, it's not working out too well. I'm trying, guys, I'm trying. Because uh, this stretch of highway, I'd be willing to bet that it's probably in the top 10 to 20 of the most scenic routes on planet Earth. No joke. You know, 6,000 feet up, and when it's a, it doesn't have to be that clear, but when we get a really clear day, not only can you see the coastline, no problem in the ocean, just with ease and all the oil tankers out there, but you can see Catalina Island, like it's just right out there, you can just touch it. Look at it. Looking down there at the, at all the cities down there from way up here through the clouds it looks like we're 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 in a plane going in for landing Some more light, no cheese. And the fact that we're going so slow, you're probably able to, even though it's it's dark out, you're, you're probably able to see pretty well. Oh no, but not if I, oh, 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 not good, not good, not good. All right, we got it back. That wouldn't have been fun, going over that edge. Yeah, that wouldn't have been a good time. But what we are gonna do is uh, put it in a lower gear, because this is kind of a little hectic right here. It's still maintaining at 24 degrees, and we are still lowering in elevation. Yeah, look, see, this is this is ice. This is icy, 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 icy. So we gotta be super careful. We'll talk about black ice. There you go. <laughs> that is black ice. It's it's been pretty much black ice this whole time, but since you have a little bit of snow on top of it, it uh it actually acts as a bit of a grip. So. Oops. Mr. Plow. Oh, now we can see the lights down there a lot better. That's beautiful. Through the trees. Oh yeah, gorgeous. For as slow as I'm going, guys, there hasn't been anybody to come up on our butts. That's cool, so I don't get stressed out. Sky Park. So we just passed uh, Santa's Village on the way. Really 
looks nice. It's, it's, you, look, you, you see the, uh, the bottom of the clouds right there? Again, that is so cool. I'm hoping we're, I'm pretty sure we're getting pretty close to the turnoff. Uh, we're at 25 degrees, guys. We can get there from here if we take this street, but we're gonna go the road that I'm usually used to. I can't remember the name, so I hope there's signs. There will be, I'm sure. These are right on the cliff, basically. Those restaurants and little lodging, I believe. ground down there but we're back in the clouds over there a little bit so you can't see them oh there's a little break ah, that's so neat all right come on dude you can do this just get there safely okay arrowhead villa road point of historical interest so since we're going slow enough, we should be able to see. No, that's not where we want to go. I think it's like one of the next roads we turn right down. Like this one or something. Nope, unauthorized personnel will be shot, so we don't want to go down that road. We don't want to go down that road. And <laughs> I'm joking, like it didn't say we'll be shot. So it's 26 degrees now. Uh, we are uh, just above Lake Arrowhead. Lake Arrowhead's to the right, and we're gonna be turning right right here on this street coming up here. Yes. And it's getting ugly here. Look at this. Getting ugly, huh? We start getting ugly. Boop, boop. Excuse me, I just bit. I bit. Yes, I babbed. What you gonna do about it? I babbed. All right. Uh, we don't want to make it right here. We want to make it right here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here's a sign like that. Oh, I had Big Bear. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, let's do this. Chains required. See, this is the that steel sign I was talking about. They have those all over the mountain roads. But down here, the that one's probably taken more seriously. Because in the wintertime, after our first snow, that thing's up all, like, it's always turned to that proper, uh, you know, view. So you can see that they're trying to imply that change is required. But up here, they probably don't. Look at how much, oh my gosh. What? I mean, it feels like we're at, like, in a completely different mountain range and we're significantly lower in elevation, too. This is ridiculous. Guys. They gotta be in some like they they got a foot of snow. Like, I I just can't believe it. Can't believe it. They don't have ski resorts here. Dang. But yeah, these these storms get no obstructions. They can just come right in here and open up, unleash. It's amazing. And then we get the leftovers. 
hold this camera up the whole way back but I know for a fact I'll drive better because I'm not going to speed or rush or anything like that uh, because like I, I'm, I, I'm always thinking more about the safety and stuff when I have you guys on here as I said I'd never put any of you in, in any jeopardy okay um, I want you to know that I'm always considering stuff like that even when it looks like I'm, I'm, I'm driving like a schmuck sometimes. Okie dokie. Okay, we gotta slow down here. Or else it's not gonna let us. <laughs> If I'd get good cell phone service this whole drive, I would have done a live. That would have been cool. Oh, shoot. Thank goodness. You kind of gain a little speed pretty quick on these roads here. I'm having a hard time uh, judging how steep it is. Yeah, I am pretty tired, you guys. I promise you, if I get any more tired than this right now, I promise you, even though I'm already staying in a hotel, I'll just get one right here. If if I'm get if I get any worse. Treetop Lodge, there we go. Oh look how cute that place. Man, I'm saying cute too much, guys. Seriously. <laughs> but that is adorable. Look how much snow is on those roofs. Gosh. There's over a foot of snow. I can't believe it, man. How do they do it? How do they make this happen? firehouse look at that but up here man fires are serious guys this is serious stuff here when we talk about fires oh i know where we're at so when to go to our our house oh my gosh we're no we're at the village no way no way sweet so this is all this is where we need to go then i'm gonna go to stater brothers and i don't know if staters is up top here or the bottom part but we're just gonna go into the village yay I think I screwed the boots. I'm a boot screwer. Wait a minute. I just hit the... I know. We're just gonna go through here to get there, I guess. I think it wanted me to go up that way, but I'm not, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I ain't doing it. I'm not gonna do it. Wouldn't be prudent. Not at this juncture. Not gonna do it. Not got a dad. We used to always go to that McDonald's right on the lake because we're on the lake basically at Lake Arrowhead. It's right beyond that McDonald's. There's like a railing behind the McDonald's and it's, this is right there. That's how close it is. Uh, but we used to eat there. Uh, 
when we would come up to the house. Not, not all the time. I'm just talking. It's just bringing back memories, and it's just great memories. We were just here. Don't forget, we stayed uh, for my other YouTube channel uh, at the nicest resort in the San Bernardino National Forest, which was the Lake Arrowhead Resort and Spa. We stayed in the suite, if you guys remember. But yeah, we need to keep on going here and then turn left to go to Stater. Yeah, boy. I think. Yes, there it is. Cool guys, we're in the upper portion. And we're just gonna park real quick and go in. That was awesome. We'll just park right next to, right in the middle here. I usually don't do that. But anyway, yeah, let's stop this for right now, yeah! Hang on, guys. All right, you guys, so we just left Staters. We are uh, here in the, oh uh, wait, this is where we went before, didn't we? I think we went down here, oh wait, no. Oh wait, did we? Yeah, we did. Because we're gonna go this. We're gonna leave the same way that we came in, so we don't get lost. Yeah, that's where we stayed, the Lake Arrowhead Resort and Spa. That huge, 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 huge resort. We stayed in the biggest suite they offer. I did that for my mommy, for my mommy, and the channel. Oh my gosh, I, no, I didn't screw up. Okay, good. I thought I did. So we're gonna take this back to the main part of the village, and uh, yeah. And then we are off back to Big Bear, folks, from Lake Arrowhead. So this will give you the perspective that most of you guys see. <laughs> it's driving up. Driving up? Well, obviously, you got to drive back down, so you're getting on a perspective driving down. But you know what I'm saying. Uh, this is more what you guys are looking for. I assure you, because uh, you'll, 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 you'll be able to basically see once you get up to the snow line. Because basically, we're, we're, we're just above it right here. We're just above the snow line, so... So it's not like uh, there's much snow below us, but they sure did get it, didn't they, guys? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Ooh, I've been really trying, baby. Deep down, I've been so long. Here we are, now, hey. Trying to live. All right, where are we going here? Where are we going, guys? I don't remember. Oh wait, I think we came up from straight. I think we came up from straight, so we're gonna go up to straight, huh? I think that's what we did. We came up from the straight, yo. Let's get it out. Jeez, look at all the snow, man. It's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. I like, it. I like the nail. And there's, oh my gosh, you guys, you guys should come up here and go sledding, for real. There's so much snow and there's hardly anybody in this town right now. They're all up trying to go skiing and stuff when this is where the good snow is. This is amazing. It's absolutely nice. Nice behavior. So I think this is going to take us right out to where we need to go eventually. Here. Take us out to uh, Highway 18 or Highway 18 or. Yeah, did I catch a niner in there? I mean, that's a lot of snow on the side of the road, man. Where are we, guys? Like, am I that tired? Did we end up in Mammoth or something? There's a lot more snow here than in Big Bear. that the last little bit of clouds that were kind of right there will be gone. But guys, this was a little tight system, man. This was a tight, condensed little guy. But it 
it sure packed a wall up in some places. So this is a highway one, what is it? 170 something? Jeez. Forgive me about that, guys. There should be signs up here in a moment that say. But yeah, guys, this is a lot lower elevation than Big Bear, and they got a lot more snow. Just great. Just great, huh? I mean, you know, happy we we, eh? Oh, you gotta go play that now. sounds so good right now a bunch of sushi oh my god I can eat so much sushi right now sushi goes for belly I like the sushi oh yes oh yes give me that sushi sashimi guys this video is not going to be fun to upload you guys aren't, it's probably not even gonna be visible by the time you would drive up here anyway. That makes me a sad panda. <laughs> I'm a sad panda. Oh, I don't wanna be a sad panda anymore. Oh look, we made it, yes. We made it, y'all. Yeah. We're back at the highway 18. We need to slow it down though. I just slam on the brakes real quick. Slamming them on again just to see how we're braking right now. Let's see. Yeah, baby, what's up? What's up, dog? All right, we wanna make a left. Oh my gosh, it's so dark up here, guys. It's so scary. Oh my God, it's so scary. Oh my God. I'll roll down this window over here. It's 28 degrees over here. And it looks like there's loads of clouds down the mountain, dang it. Oh well. <clears throat> I tried my best never to stop show you. Look, see, you would see lights galore to the right there, but now you're not seeing anything galore. You're seeing dark galore. Once again, 28 degrees. We are uh, leaving the Lake Arrowhead proper. We used that twice tonight, and I've probably never used that before. I'm just trying a little more proper tonight. Well, let's, let's go a little faster, Nick. Don't drive like a little bee's knees. I'm not saying I'm going to drive like an idiot. I just want to get back a little faster. And yeah, there's less traffic on the road, so I can kind of slide a little bit if I need to. Oh, there's some lights. I shouldn't be looking at those, though. If I'm going to be driving it all faster. I need to 100% focus on the road, which is what I will do. I'll hopefully point the camera out the window so you guys can get a good view, but that's the best I can do. I can't focus on it as much as I want to. And I just rolled down all my windows so the cold air kind of warms me or wakes me up a bit. As I said, I'm not at a point, you guys, where uh, it would be too, too risky, but it's close. I'm getting to that point, so. I just gotta get back. This is huge cliffs right here, guys. And look at the fog, boom, right in front of us. Right when I turned the camera, the fog just decided to pop up. It was like, fog, you bro. I didn't say anything bad, guys. The fog was just like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fog all over you. Um, I'm gonna fog you. We're gonna fog you, we're gonna fog everybody. We're gonna put fog on everybody. Fog in A. <laughs> I love the fog. All right, here we go. Look at, look at the snow, guys. I can't believe. This is incredible. This is incredible. Now, when the storms cooperate the way that I like them to, and they get this much snow down here, when there's this much snow down here, then typically we like to, uh, lots of times we'll have a lot more snow up there, like a lot more. Like if they have two feet down here in some massive storm, 
we'll have like six or seven feet up there. That's how it usually works. But maybe not that big of a discrepancy, but it's it's a significant discrepancy. Oh, look at that, man. That guy's light turned on already. That was so cool. Now, their house is right on the cliff, right on the edge. And I always just, I drive by with googly eyes just dreaming because that place, it's not like a huge, huge place, but it's a big place. And it's like the only one on the whole side of the cliff right there within like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of yards. It's just amazing. The view is just, I, if I could do a, like time-lapse videos there, I'd be so happy. Those would be the most, because you're just staring right at the ocean. It's amazing. And here's Santa's Village, guys. To the left, you can't see it, it's very sad. Because I like Santa's Village a lot, he's my friend. He's my friend, he used to bring me things when I'd ask him, he bring them all to me. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, there we go. Okay, it's 27 degrees, you guys. Uh, we are, we just left a little town called, uh, uh, well, I forgot. I'm, yeah, I'm a little, a little bit on the side. Uh, what the heck is that town called? Wow. <laughs> There's a few little tiny, tiny little, you blink your eye, blink at all just driving through you're, you're gonna miss the town um, and that was one of them I, I can't remember what the name is I'm beautiful I mean I totally know the name I'm just not remembering at the moment so clearly we're driving in some fog snow over here or actually no that's not that's not light snow my bad it's actually uh, a little bit when it falls off the trees above us we're just getting a little bit I thought it was a little bit more snow coming in but I know on the radar there's there, it looked like it was all gone this drive but when it's foggy it's scarier and especially when you're thinking the whole time if you like slip it on go you hit this like edge right here on the right and the, that little tiny metal freaking barrier doesn't hold you back well see ya wouldn't want to be ya hang on guys hang on all right, you guys. Sorry we had to pull over because my charger died and my phone was dying and we wouldn't be able to finish the video. Look at that. Look at how cool those lights. Whoa. See those lights just pop up over there? That's like an alien over there. Dude, we, we got to get out of here. Oh, no. We got it. No. 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 Dude, the aliens are coming, guys. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Because there's a cliff right here on the right. We do not want to mess with that cliff. I'm telling you guys, we just don't. We don't want to mess with this car either. This guy doesn't look like he wants to crash today. I don't want to crash today. Nobody wants to crash today. I just want to crash in my bed. But I can't see. So it's kind of hard to crash in my bed. I can't see how to get to my bed. Oh, look, look at that. I almost went on the side there. What is going on here? What though it's really beautiful i hope you guys really do do enjoy this one and my buddy alex deary <laughs> i know you're not watching it this whole time if you tell me that you heard me shout you out three times bro i'm gonna be so impressed but yeah anyway so we're driving through this crazy fog right now what in the fog oh, oh, oh. 
only about another two miles though until we are in a place where we're like back in town a bit not so much on the edge anymore so that's a great thing that's a great thing oh my gosh we just got really close to the edge right there on the right well i'm right when i'm saying that too what a donkey i am a donkey my friend what a donkey i am huh you know what this isn't gonna work for me i have to take out this damn remote charge man put in the, put this charger in over here instead of there oh my gosh it's too much to do while i'm driving but i'm doing it there we go what's the problem Lit. Yeah, it's lit. Yeah, bro, it's lit, bro. It's freaking lit. Now let me just make sure that I can just... I'm pretty sure that's good. Just let me check one more thing. All right. There we go, guys. So right now we are getting pretty close to entering one side of Running Springs. Oh, wait, or maybe I'm just tripping. I think we're still a bit away, actually. Now that I think about it, but I can't see anything, so I don't really know. I'm just hoping. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping. When we get back into town though before we go to the hotel i gotta go get something to eat and then as i said i gotta patch these videos together this is gonna take two hours just to just to put them together and then you guys it's gonna take another three hours to upload it and then about a day to process it in, in hd so it's it's not like you guys probably won't get the full 4k for about a day it's quite a bummer i must say and i'm a poet and didn't know it but if you know, I enjoy the snow. <laughs> We're entering Running Springs right now. We just passed the Running Springs sign. And then we're coming up to, uh, I'll show you, there's a CHP location up here. It's the, it's the, main, the main hub up here. So once we go around this left curve, a few hundred yards up on the left-hand side, once we start to make a right curve, CHP is on the left-hand side. It's a it's it's a pretty big location, and, but this is the location that handles all of the mountain. I think there's like a couple like a satellite location in, in in Big Bear somewhere, but I've never seen it, so maybe not. So as soon as we start to veer to the right up here as the road curves I'll point it out on the left hand side so it's straight ahead all those lights right there and all those lights right there that's all the CHP right there California Highway Patrol, yo. What's up? Let's see. California Highway Patrol, what's up? Am 
nice little fire department. They got really, as I said earlier, they got nice firehouses up here. They really like, they spent a lot of money on them. And they're big, but they, you know, they have to be big up here because you have to have good sized crews. Because in that, that time of year, man, this is, this place is, this is a tinderbox, man. Well, we just got out of that fog pretty quickly, didn't we? But it's gonna come right back around this corner, watch. Don't call me a liar. Oh man, I'm a liar. I'm a liar. A liar. A liar. Okay, I just wanna get home, yeah? I'm so hungry and so tired. I know right when I eat, it's like that's, you're not supposed to eat right before you go to bed, but I know it's gonna just take it out of me and it'll probably help put me to sleep. As long as I don't try to watch TV or anything, because it, once it starts to, di to digest a bit, if I'm not asleep, it, it, it could be trouble. Meaning like it'll keep me up, it'll give me energy. Duh. Like duh. Uh -huh. All right, so we're in Running Springs still, guys. Running Springs has like a few different parts of it. It's a really neat little town. Got a lot of cool bright lights. Christmassy lights and stuff like that. There's Calvary Chapel right there. It's a huge, 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 beautiful chapel right there. It's gorgeous, huh? All right, slow it down, big man, slow it down. So yeah, 25 degrees, you guys. 10:25 at night, 10:25 p.m. March 15th, 2021. Um, yeah, we are we are kaput with the most recent snowstorm. It basically blew out of here about an hour and a half ago, and it left parts of this side of the mountain range with a foot of snow and a little bit more, and it left our area, the highest parts of the mountain range, with hardly anything. So, I'm interested to see what it's, you know, coming from here, what it's going to look like out there once we get home. It's going to feel like I'm like driving down the mountain because we're going to be getting less and less snow. That's just hilarious. Okay, so right here, there's a 30 mile an hour speed limit through this little part of, uh, of Running Springs. And they've got a couple restaurants and shops, a grocery store up here called Jensen's. And right up here at the stop sign, when we get to the stop sign, this is where Highway 330 and Highway 18 basically merge. Okay, so when you're coming up Highway 330, you're coming up right here. This is where you hit the top of the mountain here, like at Running Springs and whatnot. So what you're gonna wanna do, well, you'll be coming from that direction, the left. And see, look at all these signs right here. But we're going this way. And so this is where 18 and Highway uh, 330 merge. And you're golden. Stay on this all the way. All the way, all the way. It's snowing. My friend, snow. I'm so confused. I'm just so confused. This is just a beautiful drive though. I'm actually really enjoying it. back to this side it's like my confidence boosted big time like ah oh, back home now I know what to do but this is beautiful this, these little tiny these snowflakes coming out of here it's like what's that so here's the high school again this is in Running Springs uh, I don't know what it's called it's probably Running Springs High School I have no idea 
no idea, but it's a big property. And then down that street also, which I didn't realize, is there's like neighborhoods back there, right on the right on the cliff. Not the cliff, but you know. Well, I guess it is the cliff. They have beautiful views. I had no idea that, that there was a neighborhood back there. And so when I found out, I decided to check it out one time when I was driving up back from doing something. So look, there's some, some Barney right behind us and we're gonna let him pass because it's the right thing to do. You're very welcome, sir. Now I flash my brights at him to say thank you for thanking me and having a very great attitude about it. Because <laughs> right now I'm in no mood. I'm in no mood for disrespectful people. That's why I'm not looking in the mirror. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, we're not too much further, guys. Not too much further. Hope you guys are enjoying the drive. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I'm just going to try and shut up for a little bit, if that's okay with you guys. You're like, God, it's about time. Alright, here it comes. Here comes the shut up time. Be ready, man. Jump out of it, ready, man.
wondering. This is this is pretty fast, you guys. So just uh, it might not look like it because we're following these guys who are going at a pretty darn good pace right now. So, but yeah, we're making great time right now. It's probably not the safest, but I'm. If I crash, then there's, there's no cars, there's no other cars, it's just gonna be me, but I'm not gonna crash. I, I'm just saying that, yeah, I'm going a little bit faster than I usually would. I just wanna get in front of this guy right here, though, because uh, once we get to this one lane part again, uh, we're gonna have to be behind him for a long time. I'm just not looking forward to that. But yeah, we're getting some good snow over here at Snow Valley. I guess this must be a, just a, a, a last, another little last push, <laughs> or the final push. You can't have another last push. That's an oxymoron, right? So yeah. So this guy's just yeah being a twat, but that's okay. such a beautiful resort I mean it's 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 not the biggest resort but it's just it's just really really cool man it's a really great little place I totally dig it I think you guys would too yeah snow valley guys hi snow valley bye snow valley we miss you we're missing you pretty out here you guys oh my goodness couldn't be more pretty oh if there's a lot more snow it would be more pretty than it already but it's really pretty out here i wish you guys could experience it like in person all the time with me it's just it's just even better in person guys believe it or not i know it looks great on the 4k sometimes it looks better on the camera than it does in person so tell you the truth but uh See, this guy is a freaking kook. He's flashing his like brights at this guy, and that and that makes me want to like pull up on the, on this guy right now and just blast my train horn at him. Be like, dude, you're a tool, bro. Nobody likes you. Nobody likes you. Sorry, guys. I'm just in a kind of a bad mood. <laughs> Not a bad mood. Just a, I'm just really tired and I'm getting perturbed a little bit easier than usual. But he backed off. He must have heard us. So that's good. Yeah, guys, see, that's what I do not want to see. I don't want to see that happening up here because, oh, like, a lot of people, man, me included, get really nervous in this type of weather when you you come up super, super quick and start, like, doing your brights and this and that. Like, it's, uh, yeah, it can make people actually get into worse situations. So, uh, I mean, sure, we want them to have just as much, you know, mutual respect and hopefully that's what ends up happening unfortunately a lot of times it's just a one-sided affair one one person is you know uh courteous and just yeah of other people and the other people are just oblivious to everything Look, it's 21 degrees, man. Or 22. And it's snowing pretty good right here. We're, and we're entering the little Arctic Circle, guys. And this is that little nine or... I, I, th I think it's nine miles. Uh, stretch along the... Uh, you're, like, on the side of, of the mountain where they, like, blew out this part. So 
they can create a road. Pretty awesome stuff. And right across here, you're not gonna be able to see it right now because it's snowing, but across that, oh my gosh. No, that's not, that can't be. That's not, it's a reflection inside the car. But uh, yeah, over there to the right where we were just looking, you would usually be able to see a lot of lights. And that's typically, uh, well, typically, it's always Big Bear. <laughs> in danger but that happens right there a lot <laughs> see, that was hilarious. but see that's what happens man karma kicks you in the butt mace you know you don't want it to send you 5,000 feet though but that's classic, dude. you can tell the guy's not not from up here so now I'm gonna back off of him because I can clearly tell the way he's driving he's he doesn't know how to drive in this stuff um, and I'm not going to put him in any more of a, you know, he's, he, he's, I can tell, you know, when, when I'm being screwed with. And as I said, since now I can for sure see that the guy's clueless up here on this type of, uh, these types of conditions on the road, I'm, I'm going to totally back off and I'm not going to play that game. I can't believe I even like acquiesced a bit, but it wasn't a big thing, you know, I hope you guys don't get mad at me for that. I'm not perfect. I, I get upset. And there's, you know, it's like, why the heck would I get upset over something so stupid, so so small? And then just all the positive energy that I've been working on and building up just gets completely taken away. All the good vibrations, everything just gets completely just sent into a different direction. And there goes all that effort and stuff. So if I can catch it better instead of, uh, well, I do catch it better. Um, instead of wallowing it, then that's serious growth. And I do that. But So usually I, I would have been following this guy the whole time and, and uh, just like it does none of us any good. It's probably like it's dangerous, but that's what I would have done in the past. Like, you know, it's, 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 just, it's a stupid guy thing. Like, like, I don't, like, I don't understand why we're so competitive about every little thing. But it's like, yeah, like everything, Monopoly, anything. I hate to lose. I hate to lose. It's freaking snowing, man. <laughs> I still can't believe that I actually did that drive right now. This, this is crazy. I mean, it really is a little bit nutty. 21 degree weather. Very dangerous part of, uh, well, this part of the mountain range is always dangerous when you're driving this time with this type of, of weather. So there's no one coming up and you can see cars for a long way right here. So I'm just, you know, not a, I told you I wasn't going to be on his butt, but I didn't say I wouldn't go alongside of him. <laughs> I'm really sorry, you guys. I really hope I'm not making any of my really good friends on here mad at me for my behavior right now. Um, so I hope I, I, I get a pass. I'll, you know, give me a pass if, if I let this guy go. You know what? Like, the only thing that's going to work for me, you guys, honestly, is if I just pull over and just let him out of my sight. Or else I'm just going to... And there's no one behind me. Let me honk the train horn real quick. <laughs> Watch me cause an avalanche. I didn't even think about that. That wasn't... 
I better get going a little bit. Here, we're gonna pull up here to the right. Sorry about that that sound right now. It's just the air compressor. I know it's kind of a pain in the butt, but it is what it is. Alright, let's get going a little bit. There's there's like no one out here. Like watch, look at this. Out the window looking backwards, nothing. It's so pretty out here. This is Highway 18, you guys. We're in the middle of the little Arctic Circle. We're at the end of the little Arctic Circle to tell you the truth. So let's give it another like 10 seconds. enough room so we can drive and enjoy it. There we go. Yeah, you guys were a lot of fun to have with me. I appreciate you guys always listening and just being a part, being a part of my life. And um, I do, there's, there's just, I don't know. I think about you guys all the time, like all the time, all of you and individually. I, I really do. Oh my gosh, I gave these guys all this time in front of us and now look, we, we already caught up to them. I can't believe it. How is that even possible? Jeez. Jeez. It will turn off in just a second, I promise. But it takes a while, it's a pretty big tank. And it must have been like on its last legs of air at this at, at that specific time. And that's why when I blew it for a little bit, it was out and it had to refill. And that's what it does, unfortunately. And usually you keep it on the outside of the car, <laughs> but there's no room on the outside of this car, so I had to put it inside, and that that kind of sucks. And this guy drives like a donkey, man. Like, like what is he doing? Like, what? Great balls of fire. And I didn't catch up to this guy to like be be mean. I just accidentally caught up to him. So I hope I'm still forgiven. No takey backies. Seriously. Look, I backed off more. Guys, this is growth. This is humongous growth right now. I am just killing it right now. This is amazing. I'm so proud of myself. I'm really proud of myself, you guys, because usually I get like really upset about this stuff. And because of you guys, I'm, I'm trying to change my behavior. Like, it's it's so cool. Over five years being with you guys now, like, it's, wow, like, 
so much has changed for me in terms of how I treat people, how I treat myself, and how I look at things. And, and it's so much to do with you guys. And you guys deserve so much of that. Of that, you know, thank you. And uh, just all, all the gratitude for me goes, goes to you guys, man. Every bit of it. dude. I don't mean to laugh, but like, geez, man. Third time's a charm, buddy. There's a cliff right there, man. What a... You know, I'm gonna go on my loudspeaker and just be like, dude, you're an idiot. Yeah. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. You're an idiot. You should slow down, dumbass. I had to do it. I know he heard me. I mean, you guys saw that on that turn right there. This guy was like getting sideways again, but not intentionally. Like, not how we do it. How we're we take our turns intentionally. Um, too slight. Not not when we're driving on the main roads like this. Of course not. But when it's just us on a normal turn, yeah, we'll definitely take that turn uh, a bit early, and you know. <laughs> And guys, to learn how to drift properly, it, it doesn't take much, and it can be a huge asset to you. A huge asset. Obviously, if you move to an area or a location where it snows frequently, then yeah, that's something you, you should you should really try to learn. Not that you would be doing it ever, but if you're ever in a situation and you start feeling the car doing what it's doing when you drift, because if you don't drift, you, you won't know that feeling and you'll feel like you're out of control and then you'll overcompensate and you're done. Um, yeah, it's just, for me, I taught myself a lot up here in the empty parking lots right when I first moved up here. And uh, yeah, it, it's, it was good lessons learned, good lessons learned. And I feel much more comfortable driving in this type of, of weather. Accidents happen, of course, accidents still happen and they'll always happen, but at least you'll have a better chance as long as you give yourself a chance some black eyes on the left. So we're back in Big Bear Lake, guys. All right, if you go left, you would be going to Fawnskin. One of my favorite places. Hey, Linda. What's up, Linda? My friend over there, Linda Uribe. Yeah, man, all of you. Jeez, seriously, man. Seriously, I gotta do something for you guys. Besides these videos. But... Look at this guy. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Oh, no, 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 no. Dude, what an idiot, man. Look at that, that's a, like he would've, that wouldn't have been good. Jeez, dude. I mean, for entertainment, this guy's great. But for the houses below and his safety, not great. <laughs> he knows now. He's like, yeah, I'm not going to hit the gas that hard around this turn. Good, 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 good. Smart move, my man. See, I'm not even mad at the guy anymore because, like, he's just so clueless that I feel sorry for him, so... Um, yeah, no point in being mad at him. Because I'm not trying to get anywhere quickly here. And look, it's 20 degrees. I bet we'll be in the teens by the time we get home. We're almost home. And then I'm going to go through the Mickey D's drive through Yeah, boy! I am so hungry. I'm going to get two double quarter pounders of cheese. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, buddy. Yeah, right, buddy. Blue 
lights that he has, those are pretty cool though. Those are definitely cool. I like those. I bet they're super bright. The only reason I wouldn't have stuff like that is because they'll stick out like a sore thumb. Okay, we got a car coming our way. So we gotta get back over on this side. Sweet. So right down here's the lake and we got a bunch of houses right down here. This is like Papoose Bay. I know you can't see it, but it's Papoose Bay and uh, um, oh my gosh, what is the other one? <sighs> wow. Can't even remember. It's too tired right now. It sucks because I, I, I like to try to get you guys as much information as I can, you know, while we're passing by it, even if it's repetitive because then you'll you know, if I say it enough, it, it, it might stick. Okay, this guy needs to be very careful on this next part here. Because I'm not freaking... I'm hungry. <laughs> Alright, so this is the sign that says... Big Bear Lake, population 6,025 people, and it's 6,750 feet elevation. Oh yeah. But see you guys, like if there's someone behind you like this, don't be rude like this person, like pull over, because it's actually the law. It, it actually is like a, but this is just typical entitled people, man. And I'm I'm starting to get upset again, and I need to like calm myself down. I really appreciate that I have you guys here with me who can talk me through this. Well, you can't talk me through it during, which which kind of sucks. But um, whenever I I get into like a little mood, um, some of my my closest ones on here, man. You guys. Uh, are, are are so cool about it, but like constructive in such a great way, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I love getting constructive criticism, you guys. I love it. Like, uh, but constructive criticism, something that's trying to help me, not trying to hurt and be a jerk. Because majority of the time, that's going to go in one ear out the other, and that's Boulder Bay. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Oh my God, just beautiful. I love this place so much. left right here or left here and uh you have access to a nice chunk of the lake over there it's a part of the lake that we don't see because it's it's kind of in over there and you can't really see it because you're driving on on this road so when i've actually been in that neighborhood and seeing the lake over there it's really confusing because i don't know where the heck i am because i i just never noticed that part of the lake so I'm like where am i operations in effect no parking on any city streets and guys they will give you big tickets and tow you so please <laughs> heed those warnings because they are not joking when they say no parking I mean I didn't see a please there so you know but <laughs> yeah just, just 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 be really careful you guys just be super careful because this type of weather, it's, 
I mean, it's difficult. There are lots of spots that just uh, I could look totally fine because you can't see anything else. It's just everything is white. So just please be very careful. Um, a little extra vigilant just to try to keep your eyes open a little better. Um, because yeah, tickets suck. They really do. They're no fun. Tickets are no fun. Getting towed is no fun. It ain't no fun if the homies can't hear. Mexican restaurants up here. It's called Azteca Grill. It's coming up on the right. Really, really good. I haven't been here in a while though, um, but I have eaten there. That's why I refer it. And I will be doing a video of all these places eventually, you guys. We're slowly building this channel, you know. Slowly getting more and more of of uh, suggestions in that you guys suggest to me because you guys have great ideas. You guys have great ideas and. Most of your ideas are very helpful to help other people, and that's just that's why I, why I love them so much. Okay, here's another little rough part. This left turn. Let's see if this guy can hold on right here. He, no, watch, 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 watch. This one's rough. He's taking that turn a little. Oh, he got lucky. <laughs> he got lucky. Uh, I mean, am I a jerk to like, like, kind of like hope that he like kind of hit the curb a little bit? <laughs> I don't seriously seriously guys I am so sorry I, I am I don't really want you know I don't want him to hurt himself but like you know maybe just bend his frame a little bit or something oh I'm gonna get punched I'm sorry I am such a meanie but anyway guys we're back in Big Bear um, and we're gonna go through the drive through at Mickey D's yo You guys saw he he like left that stoplight like no speed at all intentionally so yeah not not I'm not playing anymore you know and if, if he comes up on me I'm gonna turn off turn off the cameras but yeah not not playing it ain't no fun that's where we're staying right there um, and I can't wait to see what it looks like over the lake in the morning. It's gonna be so gorgeous, you guys. Cause it's gonna be clear skies. It would be nice, man. I, you know, I'd love to do a drive all the way up and down the mountain, down 330, and then up eight or uh, and then up 38. Like literally, like first thing in the morning. The reason being is because the air is so clean that you'll be able to see so far. And it's. That's just, it's so beautiful, you guys. I'm telling you, when you can see Catalina Island and just lots of these other, just like Santa Cruz Island, guys, I'm telling you, it's crazy how far you can see. I think I've mentioned this numerous times, but the furthest vantage point in the lower uh, 48 is uh, from our mountain range, from San Gorgonio to, uh, San Gorgonio to what should we call it? Um, to Mount Mount Whitney. Oh, Taco Bell is open. That's what I thought. Okay, we're gonna go to Taco Bell instead. I can't believe they're open. I didn't think they were open this late. All right, guys, let's do the Taco Bell. Should we? Do, yeah, yeah, we're definitely gonna do Taco Bell. 
All right, guys, I love you guys a lot. Thank you for putting up with me. I'm really sorry uh, about my behavior <laughs> just on that last part, but you know what? Like, like, sorry. <laughs> like, I'm... If someone's gonna mess with me, I know two wrongs don't make a right, but I'm sorry. Like, I, I just... I need to grow up a little bit still. I certainly do. Uh, you know, so... I love you guys, though. Thank you very much for all the support. You guys are always so sweet to me and always trying to help me, and I just love you guys. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed that.